At the end of the Cold War in the early 1990s, the demand for large military assets, including submarines, diminished significantly. The Sea Wolf program faced budget cuts and was eventually curtailed after the construction of three submarines. These ships continued to service the U.S. Navy's submarine fleet, but the focus shifted to the newer Virginia-class submarines, which were considered more cost-effective and versatile. As the flagship of this class, had a lifetime of active service, participating in various missions and exercises during the late 1990s and early 2000s. However, with changes in defense defenses and an aging submarine fleet, USS Sea Wolf was eventually decommissioned. USS Sea Wolf, SSN-21, is a leading ship in its class, known for its advanced technology and capabilities. It was designed to be fast, quiet, and highly stealthy, a significant improvement over its predecessor, the Los Angeles-class submarine. Despite its extraordinary capabilities, the Sea Wolf class was also very expensive to build, and as a result, only three submarines were built, USS Sea Wolf, USS Connecticut, SSN-22, and USS Jimmy Carter, SSN-23. During the late Cold War in the late 1980s and early 1990s, Sea Wolf was still under development and had not yet been commissioned into active service. The submarine was built in response to the Soviet Union's advanced submarine technology and the threat that the Soviet naval submarine fleet felt during the Cold War. However, with the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 and the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, the geopolitical landscape changed dramatically. The end of the Cold War led to a significant shift in defense priorities for the United States and Russia. The U.S. Navy is beginning to reassess its strategic needs and re-evaluate the role of various military assets, including submarines. With the tensions easing and the perceived submarine threat waning, the need for an expansive and expensive Sea Wolf-class fleet diminishes. As a result of these changes, production of the Sea Wolf-class was curtailed, and only three submarines were completed. USS Sea Wolf SSN-21, was finally commissioned in July 1997, after the Cold War had officially ended. Although late into active service, the Sea Wolf-class submarines have been deployed for a variety of missions and continue to serve the U.S. Navy as a powerful asset. In conclusion, at the end of the Cold War, USS Sea Wolf, SSN-21, was still under construction and had not yet been commissioned. The changing geopolitical landscape and reduced submarine threat after the end of the Cold War impacted the scope and production of the Sea Wolf class program, resulting in only three submarines being completed. USS Sea Wolf, SSN-21, was finally commissioned in 1997 and remains a key part of the U.S. Navy's submarine fleet, a testament to the advanced submarine technology developed during the tense years of the Cold War. Until my last update in September 2021, there was no information about a special submarine named Sea Wolf which played a significant role at the end of the Cold War. There may be some confusion with the term Sea Wolf, which is more commonly associated with the class of nuclear-powered attack submarines in the United States Navy. These submarines were designed during the Cold War era and were meant to counter the then-Soviet threat. Sea Wolf-class submarines are made very sophisticated and stealthy, incorporating cutting-edge technology to make them quieter and more difficult to detect by enemy forces. However, due to high construction costs and advances in submarine technology, the program was limited to only three submarines, USS Sea Wolf, SSN-21, USS Connecticut, SSN-22, and USS Jimmy Carter, SSN-23. As for the other submarines in their class, USS Connecticut and USS Jimmy Carter, they remain in service with the U.S. Navy as part of its submarine force, carrying out various missions, exercises, and deployments to maintain national security. It is important to note that developments after my last update in September 2021 are not available in my database. If there are any significant events or changes related to Sea Wolf class submarines after that time, I would not know about it. I recommend consulting more recent and up-to-date sources for the most recent information on this matter. Sea Wolf submarines arguably introduce a new generation of underwater firepower and technology. During its short-lived and untimely truncated existence, the famed Sea Wolf submarine arguably introduced a new generation of underwater firepower and technology, enough to inspire what is now the Breakthrough Virginia-class attack submarine. The Navy's initial plan was to build as many as 29 Sea Wolf submarines as very large and technologically superior subs capable of carrying as many as 50 Tomahawks. 
it is enormous firepower and, given that the Sea Wolf class was discontinued after only three ships, its cancellation may be why the US Navy is now tracking the Virginia Block V class attack submarines with the Virginia payload module built in to increase the ship's firepower by 28 tomahawks to 40 per ship. This brings a commensurate measure of firepower and may be part of a deliberate effort to compensate for what many perceive as the potentially premature cancellation of the Sea Wolf class. Did the collapse of the Cold War, the apparent diminishing extent of the Soviet and Russian threat inspire what may have been the short-sighted decision to cancel Sea Wolf? It must be argued that the so-called military technology procurement holidays of the 1990s have inspired massive upgrades in new platforms in recent decades. The Pentagon is turning around from the Cold War era, but many likely still maintain a long-term view of the threat equation and are likely eager to retain Sea Wolf. What has happened? The rather abrupt end of the Cold War resulted in the swift and potentially premature cancellation of the highly capable Sea Wolf class attack submarines originally slated to replace the existing fleet of Los Angeles class ships. Although the service originally planned to build 29 Sea Wolf submarines, only three were actually built before the program was discontinued due to budget constraints in the mid 1990s. The early retirement of the Sea Wolf class submarines inspired the birth of the now thriving Virginia class submarines. But the Sea Wolf itself was engineered to be a paradigm-changing leap in capabilities beyond Los Angeles subs. Sea Wolf is larger than the Virginia-class ships and considered expensive at $3 billion per unit, but its mission is clear. Sea Wolf was designed to, among other things, hunt and potentially destroy nuclear-armed Soviet Typhoon-class ballistic missile submarines. Sea Wolf was also built to track Soviet Akula-class attack submarines in a deep-sea environment. According to research in the U.S. Naval Institute's Guide to Ships and Aircraft of the U.S. Fleet, the Sea Wolf class hull is constructed from HY-100 steel, which is stronger than the HY-80 steel used in the previous class, to withstand water pressure at greater depths, says the U.S. Naval Institute Guide. As very large ships, the Sea Wolf class is capable of carrying as many as 50 Tomahawk cruise missiles, something which may explain the reason why the U.S. Navy built the Block V Virginia attack submarine with an extra 80-foot section adding 28 more Tomahawks to its existing 14 submarines. There are other similarities between the Sea Wolf concept and upgrades to the Virginia class ships, such as the addition of the large aperture bow sonar system to the Virginias, which appears to be somewhat in tune with Sea Wolf's larger spherical sonar, wide aperture array and new sonar arrays, as described by HarpoonDatabases.com. The Sea Wolf is also reportedly designed for shallow operations and the support and delivery of Special Operations Forces missions. It is also very similar to the Virginia ships, as the Block 3 Virginia is built with a special locking baggage designed to be filled with water and covertly allow soft troops to be deployed on clandestine missions.